Hey guys, so here we are winding down on some of the most major things you can do with your Verizon Note 3. So in this series, I've brought you from the M19 Route de la Vega, and then we went over to the MJ7 firmware and kept our route. Then after that, I showed you how to install SafeStrap onto your phone to do what we're about to do today, and that is installing ROMs onto your phone. Now just a little bit of info on it what SafeStrap does is it keeps your main firmware so in this case it's the customized rooted MJ7 firmware it'll keep that safe in a specific partition on your internal memory so that way that's kept safe you have your that's stock so if anything happens you could always revert to that and then what you can do is you can have various other ROM slots where you can install various ROMs or whatever you want to do in those ROM slots. So what I do is I keep that MJ7 rooted customized firmware on that safe ROM slot and then I have a daily driver so it's a ROM that I use every day because it's stable, I like it, it's good. Uh, I use Hyperdrive and that's what I'm going to show you how to install onto ROM slot 1. So from here you can get creative and do the same thing on ROM slot 2 and 3. I think there's a fourth ROM slot. You can get creative and do whatever you like with that. But for now, I'll show you how to do it on 1. And then you can play around with it as you like. So with that, let's go to the computer. And I'll show you all the, all the tools you're going to need, all you're going to need to download. And we'll get the process started. All right, so here on the computer, uh, I'm on the XDA developers. I get all my ROMs from here, just a Verizon Galaxy Note 3 Android development. There's a variety of other ROMs in there you can play with. But the one I've really liked is the Hyperdrive. Here lately, I have the RLS3. Right now, it's updated to the RLS4, and that's what I'm going to be updating to today. And what it does, it has a whole bunch of features that it comes with, and that is it removes bloatware. So all the Verizon apps that they throw in there or what have you, they all get removed safely and it's completely stable. That increases your battery life, that gives you more of your memory back, a whole bunch of other enhancements. So in each one of these ROMs, they go and they tell you the specific things that this ROM gives you. Uh, so you can go ahead and read it because there's a lot. So here's all the ROM infos, this is the basic information you're going to need. Uh, this one is based on the 4.3 uh, MJ7 based firmware. Uh, so, And then here are the tweaks that it gives you. And here are the install instructions. And this applies for any ROM that you do. You always want to make sure you follow this. So first, make sure you read the entire thread because uh, in, in every ROM because there might be something specific to that ROM that you have to do with your phone there might be some there might be some very important things that you need to do so you can avoid uh, soft bricking or whatever which is really difficult to do if you're using SafeStrap but read the thread of course you have to be rooted and you have to have SafeStrap installed so first thing you need to do is download the latest hyperdrive ROM now hyperdrive is pretty big I don't know what the how big the other ones are but the hyperdrive ROM is about a gigabyte so it's gonna it took me 40 minutes and I have pretty fast internet so make sure you give yourself time to download that then we're gonna reboot into recovery and create that ROM slot and we're gonna do a wipe data and factory reset you wanna do that with every ROM that you do just so files aren't clashing and causing issues um, so you're gonna have to wipe everything is gonna be wiped out of your ROM slot so if this is your first time you have really nothing to worry about because that ROM slots gonna be fresh and new you still wanna go through this but you really don't have anything to worry about because that rooted uh, stock firmware that you have uh, will be kept safe and that would be your safe ROM and then your ROM slot will be completely empty so you could just install whatever so we're going to wipe, we're going to wipe the cache in the Dalvik, and then we're going to finally install the ROM. And with all of these, whenever you reboot for the first time, it will take quite a while. In this one, it could take up to 10 minutes, um, but you just let it sit there for 10 minutes, and, and it'll pop right up. And then once it reboots, this ROM recommends that you reboot again just to make sure everything's good to go. 
all right so before we go to the phone just want to remind you guys to back up all your stuff I use Google personally to back up my my contacts and all that other stuff so use whatever means you need to um, I do have a video that I just posted on how to back up your applications that's one of the big things that Google backup can't do it can't back up your applications with all the app data so check out the last video I made on how to back up your apps and in this video I'm actually going to show you me restoring my apps from that backup that I made make sure everything's backed up and then we can go ahead and get started because everything will be wiped so back up back up back up your stuff okay so I just made sure that all my things were synced up and everything was good to go all my apps are backed up with titanium backup so that's good uh, so now all that's left is to to copy over the RLS4 for hyperdrive in my case to my SD card and that will be a zip file that we will be able to flash with SafeStrap so let's go ahead and do that so to do that all you have to do is plug in your phone to your computer so just pull down on the drop down menu and select connect installer I have a password on it cool little tweak and then uh, go to media device I'm gonna use USB 3.0 and that's it so connect it to your computer and here we go so it's copying over all those files to my SD card so so that's gonna take a while so I'll be back whenever it is completed okay so all the files are successfully on the SD card I'm gonna go ahead and double check uh, I have the RLS4 it should be a zip file and I also have another little zip file that I put in there uh, just just to show you uh, another little trick so so I verified all of those are in the SD card and just go ahead and turn it off and you can do restart it's gonna say okay it's gonna restart and then you're gonna catch it and if you've already installed safe strap which you should have uh, you'll be used to the the menu option that will pop up so it's still turning off with the blue light. Okay, so now it's restarting. You're going to get the Galaxy Note 3. And if you have the little custom symbol right here, be sure to check out my other video on how to remove that. And then I'm going to go to the recovery menu with this left. Okay, so you'll see in the top right here, it's going to say I'm already I already have ROM slot 1 active so um, but for you you'll probably it'll probably be in red and it will say that there's nothing active so just go to boot options just so I can do it as as if I was you guys doing it for the first time I'm gonna do ROM slot 2 it's completely untouched and this will be the same process so if you like you want to do it for the other three ROM slots after we do this first one you do the same thing on all of them so ROM slot 2 and then you can select your partition size so uh, your system partition so this is where your ROM is make sure you give it enough and you can just go all the way up which is a a little under three gigs and then your data partition that's how much data you'll give the ROM slot you can go all the way up to about a little under four gigabytes and then if you want to do the max partition for the cache you could give it uh, about a gigabyte of cache so just set that up however you like and uh, or whatever your ROM that forum suggests that you do and all you have to do is select create ROM slot at the bottom and it will create that ROM slot for you and then you have your stock ROM slot and that's what's probably active right now so for you just select the ROM slot one and for you it'll say activate right here at the top so go ahead and select that let it activate and then it'll go through this process it'll take a little while and then you'll be good to go so once that's done then you'll probably have this ROM slot one selected like I have now go ahead and select it and then you can uh, put a nickname or whatever you like so so we're done with that so just go back to the home so just the home button and now what you want to do is you want to wipe it so just go to wipe and then you can just do a wipe to factory reset uh, or you can do an advanced wipe which will allow you to select what you want to delete so I'm gonna do an advanced wipe 
and then you want to wipe your Delvic. Remember on the tutorial it told you to wipe data, factory reset it, and wipe cache and Delvic cache. So this is going to do all that. So data, cache, and system. Uh, be sure not to select micro SD card because everything's on there. Do not want to delete that. So Delvic, data, cache, and system. And then swipe to wipe. So that's going to take a little while. And there we go. So it's back. So go ahead and do back. Go home. And now we are ready to install. So to do that, just go to install at the top and then navigate over to your external SD card. So for me, it's click up a level. It's in uh, parentheses, up a level, and then up a level. So I did up a level three times, I believe, until you go to the forward slash and then scroll down a little bit and look for external underscore SD and then navigate over to that zip file. It should be, if you're doing the hyperdrive, it should be hyperdrive rls4 note3final.zip. So select that and that's what should be popped up right now. So uh, it's going to give you a couple of warnings. It's going to say where the file is. Now here's another cool thing that uh, SafeStrap has added. You can add more zip files. So in my case I want to add another zip file. And all you have to do is select add more zips and then navigate over to what you want. The zip file that I added extra is the remove lock button RLS4. Um, and what it is is whenever you have hyperdrive installed there's going to be a little lock icon on top. So it's like a soft lock. So instead of locking it with the uh, the power button you can lock it with by touching that top right corner. I'm really not that into it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not that into it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select that zip. So it's the RLS4 zip, the entire ROM, and the remove lock button. And it will say file 2 out of 10 max. So you can flash up to 10 zips at the same time. So once you're done adding all your zips, go ahead and swipe flash to confirm the flash. And it will begin. So with hyperdrive, it's going to uh, format the cache and everything for you, even though you've done it once and then it'll start the install process so it it starts with the pre-install cleanup and then it'll go through everything else so let it go for a little while it does take a couple of minutes so i'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's completed here's a little quick advice uh, your phone might actually go into a black screen don't worry about it it does that for uh, power saving uh, all you have to do to bring it back up is tap the screen and then this lock screen will come up and all you have to do is swipe it and it will unlock and that's all you have to do so turns out that it's already done so you can scroll through here uh, on the little uh, the little window it gives you right here and you can see everything that happened so uh, there was a install cleanup there was a setting permissions and it installed the ROM and then after right after that then it went ahead and installed that other zip file that I had it does give you a little warning right here that the first boot might take five to ten minutes so like I said before just give it some some time and it'll be good and it also removed that that soft lock at the top right uh, with that other zip so that's it you have successfully created a ROM slot and you have successfully installed a ROM and other zip files into that ROM slot after deleting the cache and everything it's that simple and if you ever need a if you ever want to do it for any other ROM slots, same process. Okay, so once that ROM is installed on your phone, you can go ahead and select reboot at the bottom and system. And then it'll turn off. And as stated before, it will take about five to ten minutes for it to completely install. Now you'll notice right now that it didn't have the little custom uh the little custom icon that you get whenever whenever you customize your phone so for that you have to redo the entire one I'm exposed and all those other things which I have done on the previous video so all of this that you're seeing now is the custom boot animation that the hyperdrive ROM has it's pretty cool it's kinda like if it's booting into a DOS uh, operating system it gives you all the information of your phone the processor and all that stuff so 
cool little boot animation. This will take a while, It'll take about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back as soon as it is done. All right, and just like that, we have booted into the new Hyperdrive ROM. It's that simple. You guys should really try this ROM, Hyperdrive ROM. It's really quick, really fast. Battery life is amazing on it. And uh, they update it pretty frequently. So, all right, now you might notice that if you hit the power button, you will not get the power off, restart, or any other option on there except for the mute, vibrate, and sound. Uh, to do that, you actually have to activate it within the Hyperdrive app, and that is called uh, Hyperdrive Tweaks. It should be on the home screen of your phone. So just open up the Hyperdrive Tweaks, then go to General, underneath Tweaks, and then the second option on the top is called Extended Power Menu. Select that, and then in there you can select what you want to show up when whenever you hit the power button. So in my case, Power Off restart recovery download mode torch airplane mode and screenshot are my options so I just went ahead and did power off and restart and torch uh, torch being like a flashlight app you can activate it from there so once you're done with that just go home and then hit the power button and your option should be there and then you can simply reboot like that that should be it for the major parts of the Verizon Note 3 series so We've gone from M19 to MJ7 firmware, we've kept root the whole way, and we've installed SafeStrap and learned how to install ROMs on SafeStrap. So those are all the major components of the Verizon Note 3 series. Now, the other videos that are going to be in this series are just going to be little tweaks and tricks that you can do with your phone to make it that much more better. So if you found this video informative and if it helped you out in any way, please be sure to like the video so more people can come and get help by this video. If you're interested in the other things that I'm going to be doing with the phone, such as tweaks and mods, then be sure to subscribe. So whenever those videos come out, you'll get them right as they come out. So that's it for now, guys. Y'all have a good one.